Hello, my friends. Welcome to our report of what's going on in Queens, New York. There seems to be a lot of shortages for businesses and restaurants. This, this fruit ranch, right? I've been living here for over 20 years, right? This place has been open every single day ever since I moved down here in 1994. It's right next to the subway, so people getting off work could go buy some milk, some eggs, fruits, vegetables, and things like this. So what is happening is that even restaurants are finding tough to get stock. For certain grocery stores that are open, I haven't been to them, uh, they don't allow everybody in at once. So people have to wait outside with arbitrary lines until somebody tells them to come in. So that is the situation that we're living here in New York. Um, apparently most businesses are, are not essential, but I choose to agree to disagree because I believe every business is essential to the maintenance of life, health, and the families. But I must say, this spring day is absolutely stunning. I'm really happy to be alive these days. And in more of this report, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of a slideshow showing you the amounts of uh, essential, you know, quote essential and non-essential businesses open and closed. Uh, I've seen entire blocks. What troubles me just a little bit is that I'm friends with a small store owner that sells a lot of uh, fish, fresh produce. So I've been actually supplied very well, you know, going to my, my local thing. But I'm finding out from their firsthand experience is that they're calling to the different suppliers and they just can't get the supplies. There's a restaurant night right next door to it that said, hey, we shut down because we just can't get the food for our restaurant. So it's like a Japanese and Chinese fusion restaurant. I've got a food from there before. Uh, really tasty noodles, really tasty beef there. Uh, the fish was good too. So it's becoming a situation where supply chains are breaking down. And I've actually heard in a news report where a trucker called in and said, we can't get jobs hauling freight. So if deliveries aren't coming in and the supplies are held down and uh, there's no freight deliveries with the truck drivers suffering in the world, what is gonna happen in the future? So I'm not trying to make it like a crazy headline food shortages, but based on the experience with a ton of grocery stores shut down because they can't get supply, uh, a ton of restaurants can't get supply either. Of what I know and from the first-hand experience, we're definitely experiencing, experiencing shortages here. And we gotta get America reopened. I mean, think about the farmers that have all these amazing chickens and beef and, you know, turkeys, whatever, whatever people eat, available. So I figured this report would be something that people in the rest of the world might enjoy to watch to see what it's like the experience of a person living in queens new york all right my friends love to hear your comments below and the slideshow should continue right now all right my friends here's my slideshow welcome to my um running errands taking pictures uh, enjoying a beautiful day in April. This is April 9th, 2020. And this view of these flowers blooming behind my home is just amazing. It makes you uh, just enjoy the wonder and the beauty of the world that as the way it is now. So let's go on a little bit of a journey and check out a little bit of my neighborhood. Okay. So um, this is... Um, a cell phone tower. I, I just starting to notice and uh, looking into them because right now um, 5G is a big thing. I can't tell if these are 5G, 4G, 2G, 1G, um, but 
the way that I see is perhaps living underneath one of those is probably less than a healthy thing. Um, I know somebody that did live under them and they kind of died of cancer. I can't say it was because of the cell phone towers or just a coincidence, but you know, it probably doesn't help. So let's move on. Uh, this grocery store I've always seen open. It's right next to the library. The library is across the street to the left and probably like past couple of weeks already it's closed nothing i guess perhaps they can't get supplies or whatnot but this is one of those essential businesses but the the grocery store the supermarket across the street is still open but this one i remember going there and getting food there before so this is the supermarket they have this uh sign about the pandemic Something about sales final. I didn't bother going in there because I have a better supplier from from a local local people. I like to support local. So if there's like family and friends that you know you like buying from, they have good stuff. Um, obviously, if they treat you well, why not uh, patronize them instead? So this attention customers. This view is one of the central areas. It's called Sixty Third Drive. Further down, there's like malls and things like this. So people get things like even haircuts here, uh, dry cleaning, uh, eyeglass store, and further down there's another um, fruit store that's shut down. Notice that, that's also closed. I don't think before this I've ever seen these things closed, except when um, the previous one got burned down in a fire, so it had a reason to be closed. But right now, on a beautiful day like this, this is around 4 or 5 o'clock, this is around the time that people would be coming home from work. So a lot of, you know, business would be done here. Um, a lot of people wearing masks. There's a flag in the background. I found that really beautiful against that background. Uh, let's see. Uh, this, this store, this, these guys actually are delivering stuff. So I just took this picture. Maybe I want to order from them, perhaps. Maybe. I don't know. So this is another one of those buildings with the thing. So... Uh, Building living probably here in New York, uh, especially higher up, you wouldn't even know that this is this thing is above you unless you went outside and looked at your window and you spotted it. But I, I just can't imagine uh, the health uh, ramifications of this. Uh, the more I research into the subject, the worse I think um, the wireless technology is bad for people. But what's crazy about it is that I don't, I don't think people would actually even be able to sue their telephone companies because... Uh, even if it does cause cancer, uh, you can't pinpoint a direct causal relationship because it just takes years. So if if somebody like falls off like a building or whatever, there's a causal relationship. There was a building and the guy fell off it. But if it happens 20 years later, and think about it like this, cell phone technology hasn't been uh, tested for a uh, decade. So we have no controlled studies of cell phone and non-cell phone. Oh, I just found this really beautiful. Gets the blue sky. So these are further stores closed. I think that uh, pharmacy, it says apteka in Russian, um, is open, but you know, it's been closed for a while. And um, you know, these businesses I believe are essential. I wanted to make, get some keys done. I couldn't go to the hardware store that's been closed for days already. Uh, the liquor store is open, so that's good. Um, moving on further. We have these uh, billboards, at least in my neighborhood. I haven't seen them everywhere, but apparently these give you free Wi-Fi. But I have um, a skeptical nature of trying to question if something is free, how do they pay for it, or maybe tax money. I think this thing uh, gives you a parking meter ticket thing so you could uh, park your car. Uh, but uh, like the reason why I got I, I showed this is to... Uh, show the billboards and what's being displayed on them. So I find this strange because you could have actually been displaying on these billboards saying like, oh, hey, um, keep your distance and also keep your immune system up. Eat oranges every day. Eat fresh fruits. Eat fresh vegetables. Eat organic foods and vegetables. 
uh, eat vitamin C supplements, you know, at least 500 milligrams a day. No, they don't tell you that. They tell you to maintain a distance from people. Do you think this is good for businesses? And this is the same New York where they actually banned the use of bags. So you can't even get a bag in a grocery store. So this uh, democratic idea, I don't know if it's a democratic or save the earth idea, is an idea of save the earth at the expense of killing people. How is basically if somebody is coming into a store and they could carry away two items that fit into their pocket and they forgot to bring their own bag and maybe eventually people will get used to bringing their own bags to the store or buying one of their bags, um, a person might buy less. But right now, like uh, if you go into any regular grocery store or regular store, it's like you get as much as you want and you have all these plastic bags to carry it away. To start worrying about it now is ridiculous. And uh, my solution to that situation with the, with the plastic bags is to restart the hemp industry. You know, hemp, the one that, you know, using the material. America was actually built on hemp. They used to make sales. They used to make clothing and everything out of it. Imagine you had hemp produced bags that were biodegradable. So that were reasonably cheap enough, let's say a dollar or two a piece and reusable. No, you don't give people an option. You're, you're going to find the store owners if they give you a plastic bag. But apparently they suspended the inform enforcement of this rule until for like a couple extra weeks now. But it's also another way to uh, kill the economy any even further because, you know, if you can't carry something away, you're not going to buy as much. So maybe that's the goal to destroy businesses and for shopping to do. But we have like a shopping economy. So I completely disagree with this. So these um, billboards are completely unhelpful. Um, I guess New York shut everything down, but I don't know what, you know, if they got this decree from God or whoever, that they have the right to do such a thing and to claim somebody is essential or non-essential. That's up to people to decide. I believe everybody is essential. I believe every human living being in the, on the planet is essential. You know, here we have shut everything down for people's lives. But if people have nothing to eat, um, it's going to be horrible. So, and I understand why free Wi-Fi. I mean, everybody has Wi-Fi and what's the catch there? Are they selling the data? Uh, are they hacking into your phone? Are, anyways, uh, that's, that's besides the point. So, this is one of the later ones. This is the restaurant that I mentioned. And if you read the sign, it says, hey, we're... we're closed off because we can't get the inventories so this is the one i mentioned that uh chinese japanese fusion restaurant very close to me so these guys can't get supplies we've seen the grocery stores that you know sell fruits and vegetables regular supermarkets uh, i think they still are getting some sort of supply but um when little owners like this like this is the restaurant that you know can't get the supply shuttered it's when doors um when these guys are uh, ready to get all this stuff and they can't get it, that's what's happening. And we need to reopen the country. Um, I hope you enjoyed my journey through my neighborhood and my explanation of how things are. And I hope you found this picture beautiful. This, oh, oh, wow. Beautiful spring day. All right, my friends, uh, thumb up the video and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.